Up next, the force of these blasts is no illusion. The explosions are in Wyoming. They trigger seismographs in Russia. With the intensity of small nuclear bombs, explosives furiously rip into the Earth to uncover its natural resources. The Thunder Basin Mine, near Wright, Wyoming, is one of the most productive strip mines in North America. Here, 120 million pounds of explosives are put to work every year to extract more than 43 million tons of coal. When you turn on your light switch at night, um, it all starts at this mine site. Senior engineer Bob Martin is part of the team that translates the mind-boggling power of explosives into hard-working, controlled blasts. We've gone from moving zero material with explosives to moving 30% of the material with explosives. So it's a very important tool that we use. This remote region of Wyoming is endowed with an unusually thick seam of coal. It averages 70 feet. Some of their coal seams are only like four feet thick as compared to our 70 feet. The coal is buried 150 feet underground. To get to it, this overlying earth called overburden is blasted away with up to eight million pounds of explosives per shot. This type of blast is called a cast shot and it literally rocks the world. These enormous explosions send shock waves through the ground that trigger seismographs around the globe. We've been known to trigger all the way over into Russia when we shoot a cast shot off. The problem is that underground nuclear tests also trigger worldwide seismographs. This animation shows how listening stations around the world recorded the blast waves from a nuclear test in China as they surged in all directions. And at first glance, some of the seismic waves of a gigantic cast shot in Wyoming look like a nuclear blast to scientists around the world. So they had to come up with a way to prove that the blasts were merely innocent cast shots. When you shoot a cast shot, you have to delay time it. You have to give the material enough time to move. Our cast shots consist of seven rows deep. So what we try to do is give about 300 milliseconds between rows which gives it enough time to peel off and the material to follow behind it. It's, it's all a matter of getting the material to move properly. As it turns out, the proof was in the process. The delayed timing of cast shots creates its own distinct waveform or fingerprint different from an atomic blast. Since the explosions go off milliseconds apart, their seismic waves appear as ripples. A nuclear shot will give you a very fast spike. So whenever we do have a cast shot, they're able to look at the waveform and determine that was not a nuclear device. The cast shots are a lot more violent looking than a, a, a simple coal shot would be. But a coal shot is still a pretty impressive thing to look at. Coal shots shatter the solid seam of coal into workable fragments. Giant shovels can then easily scoop it up and load it into enormous transport trucks. One truckload is enough to heat the average home for 40 years. Here in one of Thunder Basin's three pits, blasters Dewey Izzard and Robert Ferguson are preparing to blast a bed of coal. 26 holes have been drilled 70 feet down into the solid seam of coal. An explosive detonator packed with PETN and TNT is attached to a line of super fast burning primer cord and lowered into the hole. The primary explosive force will come from a mixture of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil called ANFO. One ton of this compound is pumped into each hole on top of the detonator. This explosive has a very high power. It explodes at about 15,000 feet per second, so it's a very rapid explosion. The blasters are working on top of a grid of holes packed with 26 tons of extremely powerful explosives. This stuff is, is all very safe. I mean, you can't get over-relaxed with it. You've got to be careful and you've got to follow the rules. But if you do, you're, you're fine. You, you don't come out here scared. All explosives are designed to explode, obviously. 
but the type of explosives that we are using today are very safe. The unplanned detonations are pretty much unheard of in today's world. Basically, back in the old John Wayne days when he throws a stick of dynamite and shoots a bullet and it explodes. That just doesn't happen anymore. What will 26 tons of explosives do to this coal at the Thunder Basin mine? When it goes off, it feels like a shallow earthquake. After the blast holes are filled with explosives, they're capped off. This grid of explosives is then tied together with primer cord. It's just a square knot. And delay mechanisms are inserted. This is our 42 millisecond connector we use for timing between our holes on our trunk line. When this sets off, this cord will instantly set the cap off that's inside here. Your timing's in this cap here, and 42 milliseconds later, this cap will go off, set this cord off, and then your trunk line continues. This one and these two will go off together, and it just continues in that sequence down the row. This enormous explosion will be triggered by a tiny shotgun shell primer cap. All it is is this, that little shotgun primer, ready for a little noise. And that's it. The blasters can't be anywhere near the violent primer cord when it goes off. So this low-tech detonator will be connected to a blasting tube. The hollow tube contains a fine dusting of aluminum and a military-grade explosive powder. High-speed film illustrates how the blast travels through the shock tube, smashes into another blasting cap down on the grid, and sets off the network of primer cord. Everything is in order. The shock tube is reeled out as Dewey and Robert drive to a safe distance to set off the blast. All clear, Bob. Four. Attention all Black Thunder personnel, we're going to have a cold shot for the 6 shovel in the west pit. Please maintain radio silence. Okay, she's ready. The shot will be in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire in the hole. The explosion shakes the earth for miles around. The delays worked perfectly. This coal shot produced a flare-up called a fireball. That's coal dust exploding. It's a clear example of how volatile the dust can be. But out here in the open, it burns away harmlessly. I thought it was a very good shot. I think we got good fragmentation. You can see the way it heaves up. If you look, that was the original surface down there. See, it heaved up probably 10, 12 feet. You sit back and all within two to four seconds, you know whether you did a good job or a bad job. <laughs> Thunder Basin averages two coal shots a day. And two cast shots a month. These powerful explosive events are key to tapping into the energy sources that make our world run.